John Chu is here. He's a Scrabble champ. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you Saw again. Saw you about too. 10 years ago. For the Canadian Scrabble Championships. That's yes. right. So what's one of your biggest wins in your, in your Scrabble history? I'm not actually the world Scrabble champion. The only world record that I hold is for the highest scoring tied game at 502 points apiece. So wow. I wouldn't say that's my biggest win, but it's probably the most memorable game. Is okay. there one Scrabble champion? Is there, like, is there like the Bobby Fischer of Scrabble out there? Yeah, there's a guy named Nigel Richards who's the only person ever to have won the world championship twice. He, he managed to defend his title uh, last year. Oh. Do you hate him? <laughs> or do you uh, idolize him? Maybe you, you, maybe you idolize him. <laughs> do you hate him? My, my favorite uh, World Scrabble champion is one of the Canadians, a guy named Adam Logan, who's a mathematician out of Ottawa, yeah. and I hope he wins it again sometime. But he's, uh, he's a, Scrabble players tend to be uh, overly uh, focused on the game, and uh, that can lead to some personality quirks, but in some, case, in some people's <laughs> cases it works, and in some people's cases it doesn't. Is there any psychological doesn't. interplay when you're doing Scrabble? Can you intimidate an lot. opponent? Oh, sure, yeah. Like poker? Well, if, if you're playing the world champion and he puts down a word that you're not sure of, yeah. are you going to, say, challenge and, and risk losing a turn? No, he can get away with play, playing like seven random tiles. cheating, isn't it, putting it down a word that doesn't exist? That's an element of the bluff. It's, it's one, of the, one of the big parts of the game. Have so. you ever used a bluff word? Does that happen very often? Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that against a newcomer at the Toronto Scrabble Club, but, uh, but if it's someone that is stronger than I am, I, I would be willing to take a chance if it's my only chance of winning the game. Yeah. Or, uh, so wait a I, minute, you can put down a fake word? Is sure. that what you're saying? Yeah. And as long as I don't call you on it, it's good to go? Oh yeah, and there, and there's, and there's, and there's situations where it's strategically that. important to do that at the end of the game. If a person yeah. might lose the game by challenging, then they might let it go. So can what's you, a bluff word? Yeah. What? There are slang words bluff words? Uh, no, but uh, uh, there, are, there, are word, there are lots of slang words in the dictionary. Uh, the words that aren't, the words that tend to get played as bluff words are words that begin with like R-E or end with E-R words where you might not be sure that it appears in the dictionary, mm -hmm. even though you could think of a plausible definition for it. Like schmoopy or something like that. No, I would challenge schmoopy. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. laughs> He's like, and no. But you also have to know your opponent, because there are a lot, at the top level, there are a lot of people who play top-level Scrabble uh, without being fluent in English. Yeah. I'm thinking specifically of players from Thailand, and against them, you have to think about their study methods, and you could get away with, you, you might be able to draw out a challenge and a loss of turn from someone who, um, with, with a common word like maybe thatch or something, T-H-A-T-C-H, uh, because that's too low probability a word to, to show up in Scrabble. You know who's really good at Scrabble? I know several people who are good at Scrabble. Dan, <laughs> Dan, Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle. Oh, little, he's little good known at fact. potato. Little known yeah. fact. Well, Potatoes. Uh, can well, do you, when you walk around and you're looking at signs and stuff like that, like the market by Longo's, yeah. gateway newsstands, oh, dry sure, sure. do you look at those and automatically start to see Scrabble patterns? Yeah, well, when I look around at you, I realize that Chris is the only one that has a name that's good in Scrabble. Oh, and really? I, I think what makes it good in Scrabble? I have a Z. Uh, well, you the can word score? The, the word K R I S <laughs> means means a type of short sword or knife. So you can play the, you can play uh, the word Chris oh, in, in Scrabble, right? Like it's actually a name. word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do have a big event tonight. It I is do. the big um, Scrabble with the Stars. Yes. Some of the people that are going to be there, Colin Mockery. Who is the, the the biggest Scrabble star there is? I mean, he's literally huge. He's very tall. Yeah, he, yeah, he is very tall. <laughs> That's true. Uh, his wife, Deb McGrath, Gordon Pinsett, Dave Broadfoot, Jennifer Dale. Uh, Marilyn Lightstone, on and on, Amy Skye, will all be playing Scrabble tonight. Yeah, it's in a good, a good cause in support of Performing Arts Lodge, which is a charity for uh, affordable housing for retired members of the Canadian entertainment industry. That's and amazing. And I think there are still uh, seats available. It's uh, scrabblewiththestars.ca. Are people very yeah. serious about this? Uh, no, it's a lot of fun. You, you go there so that you can have dinner with your favorite celebrity, get their autograph. Play Scrabble. Have you fun. want to dig in there and like pull out a few tiles? This isn't one of those trick bags that no, has only E's. No, it's going to get snap your fingers off. It's, it's um, all A's. Okay. And then let's just see how many words you can make in the next 20 seconds. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure. Out of what we have on the board. Oh, you want me to just uh, just play yeah. as, play as quickly play, as I can? Play as it lays, baby. Okay. Uh, uh, lightning round. Yep, I'm timing you for 20 seconds. Holy smokes! Pressure's on, pressure's on, John. <laughs> I like to watch, I just want to see your head, like, 
to see the head work and work. Like ally, then I think uh, I think uh, ally would be good, but P with a in front making pally would be even better. Pally. Yeah, you know, he's your pally. <laughs> and then but I. Sinatra used to use that all the time. Is that right? I think that if I do that, then I can maybe set up a, a score to come down here. Are you always thinking like three steps ahead, though? Jeez. Like well, what you can build like on? Uh, well, it depends on the kind of game that I'm playing. But if I'm playing like a solitaire game where, where I wanted to score as many points as possible, then yeah, I would probably set up something there uh, to reach the triple word as quickly as I can. Um, what is the absolute biggest scoring word ever recorded in Scrabble? Do we know? Uh, you could theoretically score, I think, 1,780 points for oxyphenbutazone, um, which would have to go <laughs> across. I think the, Joy uses that. Yeah. yeah, actually, it comes up fairly often in online play. That um, was pretty amazing, though. You were just like your hands don't good. stop. Boom, boom, no, boom. The words are going down. As we said, the uh, Scrabble with the Stars is tonight. Go to MorningShow.ca for more information. John Chu, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Thank, Thank you, you my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 8:53. We'll be right back.